Hey guys, it's Alexandra from ilovenots.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a beanie worked with the classic granny stitch stitch pattern. I'm going to be using Swish worsted weight yarn. This is 100% merino wool. One of my favorite yarns to work with. This yarn is soft, it's cozy, it's not itchy, which is a big plus, and it's nice and durable. A similar yarn to this is Lion Brand Wool Ease. If you can't do wool, Lion Brand Heartland or We Crochet Brava or Red Heart Soft is what I would recommend. I'm using an H85 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need whatever hook size you need to meet gauge. We're going to go over gauge after round four, so you may need to go up or down a hook size depending on how your gauge comes out. And you're also going to need a soft tape measure so you can take gauge and check the final length of your beanie. Let's get started. To begin, we're going to start with a slip knot. So this is the working yarn for my tail. I have the short end over my fingers here. Wrap it around my index finger two times. Then I hold the tension with my thumb and middle finger. Pick up the loop on the left side of my finger pull it up over the other loop but not off my finger grab the loop that's on the left now pull it up over the other loop and off my finger Then I'll insert my crochet hook right into the center where my finger is I'll hold the working yarn with my right hand and pull the short tail end just to tighten to normal tension and we're ready to start we're gonna start with a chain four to chain we just yarn over the hook and pull through the loop yarn over and pull through yarn over pull through there's three here's four now we're gonna slip stitch join to form a ring so we're gonna go into that very first chain you worked right down the center of it insert your hook yarn over pull through that loop and the loop that's on your hook and now we have a ring that we're going to be working into. Right there on the top, it also looks like there's a little ring. That is where we just slip stitch join to, and that chain will open up as you work because this tail end is not secured. Just don't work your stitches into that into that hole. We're working into the center hole. As we work, we're going to keep our tail end held against our chains and we will crochet over it so I'll just hold it like this with my thumb and my middle finger and I'll crochet on over that to begin we're gonna chain two in the crown which is the first half of the beanie the flat circle this chain two is not going to count as a stitch we're going to start with 10 double crochets into that very center ring. To double crochet, we're going to yarn over our hook, insert it right into the center ring, yarn over and pull through. We have three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Let's work one more together. Yarn over. Insert your hook into the center ring, yarn over, pull through, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. This beginning chain two is not going to count as a stitch, so we have one, two double crochets. And you actually count them with the V-shaped stitches that you see on the top. There's two there. Keep working until you have 10 double crochets all worked into that center ring and don't forget to hold your tail end against your chain so you can crochet over it I just finished working 10 double crochets. 
We're going to slip stitch join to the very first double crochet which is right here. But if you're not sure where to join to, you can count backwards using these V-shaped stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Insert your hook into that stitch, picking up both loops. Yarn over your hook, pull through that stitch and the loop that's on your hook. That is a slip stitch join. We're going to be doing that at the end of every round. That beginning hole, you can hold the fabric with your right hand and pull on the short end with your left. It'll close that hole up. We're going to secure this close when we weave in our ends later. For the first half of our beanie, we're going to be increasing. That means that we are going to be adding stitches, so each round will have more stitches in it than the previous one. This is going to give us a large circle that also lays flat. I work my increases a little bit differently than what you might be used to, and that is to help me keep my seam straight. Typically what you would do is you would work two stitches into this first stitch, two stitches into the next stitch, or two stitches into the first stitch, one stitch into the next stitch. I take that beginning increase and I split it in half. I work the first stitch as normal, and all the other stitches as normal and then after I'm finished I would finish over here for this round I work one more stitch into that first stitch to complete the first set of increases and I slip stitch join the first stitch is going to come out to the left of the beginning chain and the second stitch from that first increase will come out to the right of the beginning chain this is going to keep your seam straight the whole time you're working this crown. So for round two, I'm going to chain two. Then I'll work my first double crochet into that first stitch. And our repeat for this is two double crochets into each stitch around. So two double crochets into the next stitch. Two double crochets into the stitch after that. And continue all the way around. Then after we work our, our last set of increases over here, we'll work one more stitch into that first stitch to complete the first set of increases. And we'll slip stitch join. At the end of this round, we're going to have 20 double crochets. Alright, so I just worked the last set of increases. I need one more stitch to complete my round. I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to insert my hook right into the stitch that is underneath the beginning chain. Yarn over, pull through, and complete my double crochet. This is going to be the second stitch from our first increase. So we have our beginning chain right there in the center. Then we have our first double crochet over here on the left, and now we have this double crochet here on the right. Now I want to insert my hook into the first double crochet and complete a slip stitch. Round two is finished with 20 double crochets. For round three, chain two, one double crochet into this first stitch, and we'll work the second half of that increase at the end. One double crochet into the next stitch. Our repeat for this round, two double crochets into the next stitch. One double crochet into the next stitch. You'll continue working all the way around. Two double crochets in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next stitch. Once we're at the end, we'll work one final stitch into that first stitch and slip stitch join. This round is going to have 30 double crochets.
So I've just worked the last stitch of my last repeat. I need to work one more stitch to complete this round and I'm going to do it right into the stitch that the beginning chain 2 is coming out of. Then I'll insert my hook into the first double crochet and complete a slip stitch. Now round 3 is complete with 30 double crochets. For round 4 we're going to chain 2 double crochet into the first stitch and we'll work the second half of that increase at the end. One double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And now our repeat begins. Two double crochets into the next stitch. Double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Continue working all the way around, two double crochets into the next stitch, one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Once we finish our last set of increases over here, we'll work one more stitch into the first stitch and slip stitch join. This round is going to have 40 double crochets. I just worked the final stitch of my last increase. I need to work one more stitch into the first stitch. That completes my first set of increases and now I'm going to slip stitch join to the first double crochet. Round 4 is complete with 40 double crochets. We're going to stop here and take our gauge. Gauge is measured across the center of a circle, that is the diameter of the circle, directly across the center, starting at the left on the left edge, ending on the right edge. Grab your soft tape measure, measure across, and it should be either three and three quarter inches or three and seven eight inches across. If your diameter is measuring smaller than that, then you need to switch to a larger crochet hook. If your diameter is measuring larger than that, then you need to switch to a smaller crochet hook. Rework the first four rounds and take gauge again. If you continue and your beanie is not measuring the correct gauge, the finished beanie is either going to be too small or too big. For row 5, we're going to chain 2. I'll work one double crochet into the first stitch here. Work the second half of that increase at the end. And I'll work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Our repeat begins here. Two double crochets into the next stitch. One double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Continue working all the way around, two double crochets into the next stitch, one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Once you're at the end here, we'll work one final stitch in the first one and slip stitch join. This round is going to have 50 double crochets.
All right, I just worked the last stitch of my last repeat here. One more stitch into the first stitch. Then I'll slip stitch join. Round five is complete with 50 double crochets. For round six, chain two. I'll work one double crochet into this first stitch and then the second half at the end and one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. And then our repeat begins, two double crochets into the next stitch, one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Continue working all the way around. Once we're at the end over here, we'll work our final stitch and slip stitch join. This round is going to have 60 double crochets. Alright, I just worked the last stitch of my last repeat. One more stitch into the first stitch. Slip stitch join. And now round six is complete with 60 double crochets. For round seven, chain two. The granny stitch pattern has to be worked in a multiple of three. And at the end of this round, we're going to end up with 70 double crochets, which is not divisible by three. So we're going to decrease by one stitch so that we get 69 double crochets. And we're going to do that by just leaving off one of the stitches from, the, from an increase. So I'm going to work the first double crochet as normal. And then when I come back around, I just won't work the second half of this increase and this will give us 69 stitches. Then double crochet into the next five stitches. And our repeat for the round begins here. Two double crochets into the next stitch one double crochet into each of the next five stitches continue working all the way around once we finish the last repeat over here we will skip the last stitch and slip stitch join
All right, I just worked the last stitch with my last repeat. Normally we would work one more stitch in the first to complete the first stitch, but in this case we're going to skip that because we just want 69 double crochets for this round and not 70. I'll insert my hook into the first stitch and slip stitch join. This is where we're stopping for the adult small size beanie. We are no longer going to be increasing for our beanie. Lay your circle out flat, take your tape measure, measure across the diameter of your circle. For an adult small size beanie you want about 6 and 5 16 that is just over 5 and a quarter inches. For round 8 we're going to double crochet all the way around. We're going to start with a chain 2. In the crown, the chain twos did not count as a stitch, but here in the body, the chain two is going to count as a stitch. So we're not working into the very first stitch, we're working our second stitch into the next stitch. Just normal double crochet all the way around. Once we get to the end, we will slip stitch join to the top of the beginning chain two. I've just worked the last stitch of my round and now I'm going to insert into the top of the beginning chain. So here's the first chain, here's the second chain, right into the center of that and slip stitch join. Now we're going to start our granny stitch pattern. If you are a tight crocheter you may want to go up a hook size because the lacy pattern involves skipping stitches and it can become tight fabric. I'm going to continue working with the same hook though. We'll start with a chain 2. This chain 2 counts as one of the double crochets in our granny stitch cluster. We're going to work into that same stitch that we slip stitched to, two double crochets. Then we'll skip two stitches and in the next stitch we're going to work three double crochets. And then we'll skip two stitches and in the next stitch three double crochets. Skip the next two stitches and continue working in that manner all the way around. Once we work our last cluster over here we'll have two stitches left unworked that will match the rest of the stitch pattern and then we'll slip stitch join.
that's the last cluster that I have for this round. I have two stitches I'm going to leave unworked here. Now we're going to slip stitch join and you can either do it to the top of the beginning chain two or to the first double crochet. It does not matter. It is a little bit tighter if you do it to the double crochet. It's completely up to you. You're not really going to have a seam here that is noticeable, just your top seam because we're going to move the starting point over. For each of the remaining rounds, you're going to work them exactly the same as this next round. Slip stitch into the next double crochet, and then don't slip stitch into the next double crochet, slip stitch into the space in between those two clusters. So just into your hook right underneath the stitch into the space and slip stitch. Then we'll chain two and work two double crochets into that same space. Then we're skipping all these stitches from the next cluster and we're going to work three double crochets into that space in between the next two clusters. And then we'll skip the next cluster, work three double crochets in, into the space in between the next two clusters. Continue working all the way around. You work your last cluster over here in this space, and then you'll slip stitch join. I just worked my last cluster here. I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch, join, and remember you can do it either to the top of the beginning chain two or to the first double crochet. It doesn't matter. That is how every round is going to be worked. Slip stitch into the next double crochet, slip stitch into the space in between the clusters, chain two, two double crochets into that space, Skip the next cluster, three double crochets into the next space, all the way around, last cluster into this space here, slip stitch, join. I like to add a round of single crochet to my beanie. I just feel like it gives it a polished look, either one round or two rounds, depending on how much space I have. I really like the look of it. If you don't like the look of it, if you don't want to work single crochet, just you can finish your round out with the granny stitch pattern. That's completely up to you. But I'm going to keep this in mind as I work my beanie. When you're ready, you'll measure from the top center of the beanie all the way down. For an adult small size beanie, you want eight and a half inches in total. I'm going to go ahead and continue off camera and then I'll come back when I reach my length and let you know how many rounds I worked. Alright, I just finished round 19 and my adult small size beanie is currently measuring 8 and 1 8 inches tall. 
I want to add a round of single crochet to give me about a quarter of an inch more in length. Right here I've just finished my last cluster of the granny stitch pattern. I want to slip stitch join to the top of the beginning chain 2. So there's chain 1 and the second chain. Insert right into the center and slip stitch as normal. And the reason why I'm doing that here is because this counts as a stitch for the round so I need to work the first stitch from the single crochet into that beginning chain two. If you are a tight crocheter I recommend going up a hook size for this. If you already went up a hook size for the granny stitch pattern continue with that hook size you're using. But if you continued with the uh, H8 5mm for the granny stitch pattern I recommend going up a hook size for the single crochet round. Single crochet in itself is a tighter, more restrictive stitch pattern, so if you crochet tightly it may restrict the amount of stretch that this hat is going to have. I'm going to continue on and just work loosely with my H8 5mm crochet hook, the same one I've been working the entire beanie in. We're going to start with a chain one. We're going to insert our hook right back into that stitch that we slip stitch to, yarn over, pull through, we have two loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through both loops. That is a single crochet, that's the stitch pattern we're going to work all the way around. Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, two loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through both loops. Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, two loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through both loops. Alright, we have three single crochets already. You're going to continue working into each stitch all the way around. We are not working into the spaces in between the clusters. We're working into the actual stitches from the double crochets. Once you get to the end over here, you're going to slip stitch join to the first single crochet and then we'll fasten off. You're going to have the same number of stitches here that you had when you were working your double crochet round. Alright, I just worked my last single crochet. I'm going to insert my hook into the first single crochet of the round and slip stitch join. Pulling up a loop here so I don't lose that. But now my beanie is ready. I just need to fasten off the ends here and weave them in. Before I do that though, I am going to try my beanie on to make sure it fits me the way that I want it to. Alright, the beanie fits great. I am ready to fasten it off. I'll pull up on that loop to break it. Then I'll take my crochet hook, I'll insert it into the same stitch that I slip stitched from the wrong side to the right side and pull that yarn tail through to the wrong side. So it's in a better position for me to weave it in. Then I'm going to turn my hat inside out. This is the wrong side of the beanie, the inside. We'll take our tail end here and thread it into our tapestry needle. Then 
when I weave in my ends, I'm going to do it here, I'm going to do it vertically, up and down. I'm not going to weave in horizontally because it restricts the amount of stretch in those stitches. So I am going to insert my needle into a nearby stitch. When I pick it up, the first stitch, I don't pick up the whole stitch. This is picking up the whole first stitch. I'm going to insert my needle into the center of that stitch, breaking it in half, and that is going to catch my yarn. Then I'll just weave under several stitches here. And when I come out, I also break that stitch in half. This helps to catch the yarn so that you don't have to worry about your ends coming out later. And as I pull, I just want to make sure that it doesn't distort the shaping here. So I'm just using my fingers to make sure it lays flat the way I want it to. That's the first pass. I'm going to go into a nearby stitch now. I always break in half the stitch in the beginning and at the end. So I'm going into a nearby stitch and then I'm going to work down through the same stitches that I just worked into. That's pass number two. I always do three passes. That's my magic number. So I'm going into another nearby stitch down here, working upwards through those stitches I just finished working into. And now I am happy with this. I am ready to weave in my ends. I'm ready to fasten it off. If you feel like this is a little bit loose, work a fourth pass. As long as you feel comfortable with it that your stitches aren't going to come out. That's why I like to uh, make sure I break the stitches. This is the initial tail of the hat from the top. Thread that into my needle there. I'm going to, um, I'm inserting my hand into the hat so that I can keep all the fabric in my hand and control it so I can reach it better. We're going to work clockwise underneath all those stitches until we get back to the beginning. Now that I'm back to the beginning, I'm going to insert my needle under a few more stitches just so I go a little bit past it. And then I'm going to hold the fabric and give it a pull to make sure that that hole is tightened, closed. Now I'm going to insert my needle into a nearby stitch and I'm going to work upwards through several stitches. That counts as my second pass. And now I'm going to come back down through a nearby stitch, working under several stitches that I already have worked through. And just give it a tug, and now I can fasten that off. Turn my hat back to the right side. And now my adult small size beanie is ready to wear out. Guys, thanks so much for watching my video. Find the written pattern at ilovenots.com. Please smash that like button and hit subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video.